Jeff here from Recognitions, Awards and More, home of Morgan House Wood Projects. This is the second part of a three-part series on doing setups for shadow boxes. Um, today we'll be going over um, prepping your items to put into the shadow box and then the initial setup for whichever style or shape of shadow box you have um, to setting it up on the backboard. Uh, so uh, the first part we had was going over the tools. So if you've missed that one, you can go back and find that one here on the tubes. So uh, we'll get started then. All right, so in starting here, we'll get all the items laid out uh, that you're going to put on. Um, there's going to be the little clutches on the back that you'll have to remove all the items or all them from the items. So just kind of prepping the stuff before makes it go a little quicker. So some of these have already been cut on the back. Some of them have not. So we'll get our cutters and then we'll just take and snip off as close to the back of it as you can. So then those are nice and flat. The same on the ranks. Real easy. Now, dog tags. I like to take the long chain off. So you can either unlatch it or since we're cutting it, take them off that way. I will save the small chain on this and that one I will cut off about not quite half of it eh, maybe about half of it so that we'll have just a little bit on there to show that it's got the chain there kind of some people will want all of the uh, dog tag chain on there, which is fine. Um, for those, I have done like so. So for the ones that do want the, the whole dog tag chain, I have taken that before and just kind of balled it up there, you know, with the, this in there so that it's got all of the chain. Um, so it shows, you know, like you have all the chain there. So that's up to uh, you or, um, you know, if you're doing this for somebody else. Um, now the back of the ribbons, I've also got the pins on them. So you can either snip it off or this part here is just double stick taped on. I will grab my pliers and you can just take and just kind of give that a twist and that'll come right off. You can twist and it comes right off. Sometimes when people get these made for their shadow box, you can uh, tell them to not put them on uh, and you don't even have to mess with them. So that is all the way off there. So. Lay, we'll lay flat then. Um, just cutting the rest of those off. One more. Take this one out of the bag. There we 
go. Those are all off and they will lay flat now or fairly flat. Another functional badge. Again, just cutting backs off of those. No problem at all. All right. Now I will uh, come back here in just a few minutes. We'll get everything kind of laid out on the board. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll proceed and talk a little bit more about initial setups. The customer had already come out and posted where he really wanted everything kind of timeline set up um, for his shadow box. So I've laid it out and um, going with his wishes there. So I put pieces of tape across these coins because I've had the items for a little bit, so that way I knew exactly which side went up and which side was on the downside. All right, so have we have everything laid out? I'm gonna take your shadow box, especially if it is a, a different shaped shadow box, to see if everything is going to be visible. So now you see where everything is not going to be visible. So we're going to have to do some uh, maneuvering and um, move things around a little bit just to make sure everything is lined up centered and within your viewing area. So we kind of get the initial layout done and then, then you got to do some tweaking on there to uh, get everything set up. So it'll be moving things around a few different times, but that's all right. Now I'm sure you noticed that the patches are all turned upside down. I do that for a reason. Um, that way they don't stick uh, when I'm trying to get everything finalized um, for, for the setups. This one is, was a little more difficult to try and get everything um, into it because of all of the patches that they wanted to do um, in there. It's just a challenge that uh, you got to overcome sometimes uh, when you're trying to get everything in the shadow boxes that uh, you know, people are wanting in there. Everything comes right down the middle to that, and then even on the sides there. That's not too bad. Um, you're getting a different perspective where the camera angle is. So uh, you just have to, you know, you just got to get kind of right over it, right over the top of it, looking down to make sure that everything is, uh, you know, correct. Um, and everything can be seen um, because right here, um, I'm sure that that one will be pretty much covered up. So we're gonna have to move things up just a little bit. So that would show a little bit better. Still looks like, um, well, yeah, I guess you can see it from there. Pretty good looking at it at the angle that you are right there from the, the camera view. So this side over here looks real good. Move things just a little. All right, so that right there kind of covers the initial setup of the uh, shadow box. 
um, getting the items in there, getting them cleaned up, putting them in, and um, then making sure everything lines up. That's probably your biggest challenge, just making sure everything lines up um, that, that you wanted to put inside the shadow box. So this is, uh, you know, this changes pretty much every shadow box, uh, depending on the number of items they want to put in there, patches, sizes. Sometimes you have very little to go in a shadow box, and you're trying to fill up the space as much as you can. Sometimes you're trying to make as much space as you can. It's kind of trial and error sometimes, but, you know, before you do any gluing, get it all set up. So probably the biggest tip I can give you is making sure you have everything set in there before you do any gluing. Um, because once you start putting your uh, adhesive on there to glue everything down, um, it's going to be hard to change uh, things around without having to redo your whole backboard, uh, putting a new piece of uh, fabric on there. So I um, hope you uh, got a few tips out of this. and. Uh, if uh, you liked it, give us a thumbs up in the uh, comments, please. And um, let me know uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see on um, setups. I'll be doing a few more of these, probably some kind of specific items, um, how to do it. Um, the third part of this will be the final glue down of everything and then cleaning it up um, and buttoning up the uh, shadow box to, uh, to have for the ceremony or to be able to present on the wall there. So, thanks for watching.